So when I have to apply a discount, I like to do it by applying the discount percentage as a decimal. This calculator has an original price of $25, and today it's discounted by 18%. There's no way I'm passing up that deal. So let's find out what our final sale price would be. What are we going to pay after the discount is applied? First, I need to take this discount percentage and change it into a decimal. Our discount percentage is 18%. I know that percent means out of 100. So to turn this into a decimal, I have to move my decimal point two spots to the left because there are two zeros in 100. We move one, two, and now we have our decimal, 0 0.18 or 18 hundredths. 18 hundredths represents our 18% discount. Now we can use this to find our discount. The original price is $25. Since we are finding the percent of the original price, remember that of means to multiply. So we will multiply our original price, $25, by our discount as a decimal, 18 hundredths. And now we do the work. Don't forget to put in the decimal point. We have two decimal places here. So we have one, two decimal places here. Bring down the dollar sign. And there we go, $4.50. But now what does that represent? Well, we multiplied our total amount by the percent off. So this is the amount we saved. The discount is $4.50. But look back at our original question. What do we want to know? We're looking for the sale price. Our sale price is our total price minus our discount. So we have our total price, $25, minus our discount of $4.50. Be sure to line up the decimals. We do the work and end up with $20.50. That's our sales price. Great work, but decimals? Come on, proportions are where it's at. Not so fast. Solving with two steps? I do it in one by finding the sale price with decimals. I guess there are a few ways to look at it. Try solving using different strategies.